In today's lesson, our learning target is I can solve two digit plus one digit and two digit plus two digit problems with drawings. Let's look at a sample problem. There are 17 ants having a picnic. Later that day, five more ants join the picnic. In the three read strategy, I would want to look at this problem the first time and think, what is this problem about? Well, it's about ants having a picnic. The next read, I would want to pay attention to the numbers or quantities involved. There are 17 ants and five more. Lastly, I want to think about what questions might be asked. And in this problem, the question is, how many ants are at the picnic now? That tells me I want to add. So if I think about this problem in pictures, 17 ants and 5 more, my equation has the add-ins 17 and 5. Now I can solve this using base 10 blocks. 17 can be represented by 110 and 7 ones. When I add 5 more ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I can take these individual ones and group those 10 together and trade them for another 10 bar. So when I add 17 and 5, I get 10, 20, 21, 22. I can also represent this problem without base 10 blocks. I might have to use drawings. 17 add 5 equals 22. I can solve that by making a 10 bar and 7 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And when I add 5 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, when I look at my problem, I see that I have 5 ones and 5 more ones, and I know I can trade those for another 10 bar. So now I have 10, 20, 21, 22. So my sum is 22. Let's try it with another problem. If I start with 22 fish in a pond and 19 more fish are added to the pond, how can I solve for that sum? Well, the first add end, 22, can be represented with two 10 bars from the tens place and two ones from the ones place. 10, 20, 21, 22. And when I add 19, that's 110 in the tens place and nine ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I almost have a 10. If I take one of the ones from 22, when I add all of this together, and I join this one over here, I can make another 10 and trade those 10 ones for one 10 bar. Now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, and one more left over. So my sum is 41. Now you can try some problems on your own. If you run into trouble, you can go back and view the video again. And if you still need more support, you can reach out to your teacher.